Hello guys, in this video we want to add a style to this foot page and make it like this. So keep watch this video to see how. Okay, let's open up the files that we needed to start coding. The Explorer, SRC, App and Foot Page Component CSS file. It's better to also open up the HTML file to see where we want to add the styles. First of all, we want to start from the container of everything inside the foot page. Let's go here and write container. Its display should be flex. So we're going to have a flex box for the container. Its justify content should be center. So it's going to be centered horizontally. Okay. The align items should be center. So it's going to be centered vertically. And the flex wrap needs to be wrap we need a little bit of margin from all sides so i want to set the margin to 3 rem let's look at the result as you can see everything's are on the middle and we have details on the right side instead of the bottom side of the image perfect let's get back to the code let's see the html here we have a details part and the image part inside the container okay now we want to give this image and div the same min width and max width okay because we want them to have exactly the same size when we shrink or extend the size of the browser so let's go into the css file here we can write that container because they are direct children of container class and this sign that means direct children of this container this means all the tags that are direct children of container let's set min width to 25 ram and max width to 40 ram here we go let's see the result as you can see it's a smaller than before now if we open up inspect and shrink the page this thing gonna go down this is because flex wrap but if we shrink them gonna stop at 25 ram because the min width is 25 ram and i think this size is very good on mobile devices and it's gonna be fine and the biggest size possible is 40 ram that is this size okay let's close the inspector and get back to the code let's go for the next thing that's specific for image firstly we need to select the image okay img we have only one image in this page so we can easily select img tag it's gonna be fine first of all we need to give it a little bit border radius we want it to be a little bit round shape so or the radius 3 ram is fine it's flex should be one and zero so the first integer number gonna be flex grow and the second integer number gonna be flex shrink okay so we want its grow to be one and we don't want it to shrink out so it doesn't have any benefit for the image but it has some benefit for the details because we want the detail size be exactly like image size so if we set its flex grow to one it will grow and gonna have exactly the same size as image so so we want to use it for this reason its object fit should be cover it means we don't want to lose aspect ratio when the box of the image doesn't have the same aspect ratio as the image so if they don't have same aspect ratio the image gonna be cropped so the image not gonna lose its quality the height of the image should be 35 rem so it's gonna be a little bit taller and we want it margin to be one rem perfect let's see how it looks yeah the image is bigger right now and it has a very beautiful border radius but if you have questions about this object fit i can disable it for a second and see how the image looks it's just like it's squished out it doesn't look lovely so let's get back and uncomment the object fit let's see now it's on its original shape and the spec ratio okay we finished the styles of the image now it's time for the details so let us start from its container that is details itself so we need to start with the class of details its width should be 100 percent its display should be flex the flex direction should be column we want it to be column because we want to show it from top to bottom not left to right that is row should have a flex grow of one and flex shrink of zero we don't want it to shrink out but we want it to grow just like the image when there is enough space in the page the border radius should be 3 ram padding 
should be two RAM, color should be black, and we want it to have a little bit of margin from the image. So margin left should be one RAM. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, we have this margin from here and we have every single tags inside the details class from top to bottom. This is how it needs to look. Now it's time for the header class inside the details that contains the name of the food and the favorite icon. There should be in space between them as much as possible. So the heart icon should go to the right side. Let's do it. Okay, let's scroll down and write details that header. So we want the header class inside the details class. Its display should be flex. So we want a flex box here and justify content should be spaced between. So let's see how it looks. As you can see, we have the hamburger on the left side and the heart icon on the right side. Exactly how we intended. Okay, now it's time for the styles of the name. Let's make it a little bit bigger and bolder. Let's write details, name. We can write it like this, details.header.name, but it is too long and we don't have any name inside the details. So we can write it like this, details name. We can also write dot name, but I like to mention that it is part of details and it's gonna be more readable, but you can write it just dot name if you like it to be more concise. Okay, let's set the font size to two RAM and the font weight to bold. Here we go. I think it looks much more beautiful. Now let's work on the heart icon. That is favorite class. So let's write details, but favorite. Let's just scroll down a little bit and set the color to hashtag E72929. This is our theme color that we used it a lot in the project. So don't get confused about it. Okay, it's time for the font size. It should be much larger. If you're confused why we are using font size for an icon, it's obvious because it's a text and we can increase the size of a text by the help of font size. Let's set it to 2.5 RAM. Okay, let's see how it looks. It's much more likable right now. I don't know if you like it too, but I really like it. Okay, now it's time to implement the not favorite class. So if the food.favorite property is not true, this heart icon should be gray. Let's implement it. Okay, dot details, dot favorite. And now we need to write dot not. And if you're confused why there isn't a space and there is not, because the favorite class is one of the children of the details. They are not on the same level, so we need to use the space between them. But we are using favorite and not on exactly same tag. So for I have access to them, we need to use them without the space, okay? We just need to set its color to gray. Let's see the result. Okay, it's working. And since the hamburger is not favorite, it is gray. Okay, I think the stars are in a good shape, but the origins are not. Let's work on the origins. But as you know, if you look at here, origins are consist of container origins class and separate the spans. So let us start from the container origins. Let's go to the CSS file and write details.origins. Let's make it display flex, flex wrap, to wrap and margin one RAM from top and bottom and zero from left and right. Let's see how it's gonna look. Okay, it has a lot of space from top and bottom, but they are stick to each other. Let's fix it by working on the origins expense. So let's write the details, the origins, and it's direct span children. Let's set their padding to half a RAM, their font size 1.2 RAM, the margin to half a RAM from top, half a RAM from right, half a RAM from bottom and zero from the left because we don't want it to have any space from the left. Let's set its border radius to two RAM and background color to Alice blue. Let's look at it. Here we go. It's much more beautiful. Okay, now it's time to work on the tags bar. We need to put the tags bar on the left side, not on the middle. But the justify content are set inside the tags bar. So we need to give it an input property for the justify content. So it could be possible to set the justify content from where we want to use this tags bar. Okay, here inside the code, let's find where we used it. We used it here inside the tags class. We can go here from the tags folder, tags component TS file. Here we have one input for the food page tags. We need another input, input 
for justify content. That's the string and its default value is center. Okay, so we have a justify content that is centered by default. But how it's gonna work? We need to go to the tax component HTML file right now. HTML file. Okay, now we need to set the justify content both for the top one and the bottom one. It's super easy in Angular. Just need to write style dot justify content equal to justify content because we want to use a value from the tax component and we can copy this from here for the second div that is specific for the food page tax okay it is ready now in the default behavior the justify content is centered and it's not gonna change but if we set the justify content to any value from the input it's gonna change i will show you in a second so don't worry if it's a little bit confusing but we already have a justify content inside the tags css file we can remove it because it's not necessary to have two of them let's remove justify content and close the css file close the tags component html file and ts file now here in the app tags we can easily say set the justify content to start why i didn't use this square bracket because i just wanted to give it a literal text not a variable so let's see how it works as you can see, we have the tags at the left side of the food details. Here we go. Now it's time to work on the time to cook. We need to make it a little bit bigger and beautiful. Okay, let's get back. As you can see, we have a div that is the parent of the span that has the time to cook. Let's start with the cook time itself, the parent class. Okay, inside the CSS. Let's write that details that cook time. The margin top should be one RAM okay let's see how it looks should have a little bit of space from the top let's work on the span itself details cook time and the span it should have a little bit of padding 0.6 ram from the top 2 ram from the right 0.6 ram from the bottom and zero from the left it's border radius should be 10 ram so it should be completely round shape and the font size should be a little bit bigger than the normal size that is one point RAM. Perfect. Let's see how it looks. It's okay. And it's time to work on the price. Let's say details, price. First of all, we need to make its font size a little bit bigger. Font size 1.8 RAM. Margin 2 RAM from the top, 2 RAM from the right, 2 RAM from the bottom, and 0 from the left. Okay, let's set the color to green. I want the price to be green. Let's see how it looks. It's okay, but I also want to have a price text before my actual price. We can achieve this by the help of pseudo element selector. It means element doesn't exist, but we can select it by the help of CSS. How it's possible? Let's check it out. Just like the previous selector, we just need to write details and price. Okay, but here I want to add the content before this price. We just need to write colon colon before. So this before gonna be the sibling of this price. The perfect place for adding that price text. We just need to write content price and we can also give it the styles. You can say its color should be dark gray. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. Have this beautiful price before our actual price. Here we go. Now let's move on to the add to cart button. And give it a style to make it beautiful. Since inside the details we only have a single button, we can write details and select the button. Because we only have one button, that is add to cart button. We can set its color to white. The text is gonna be white because we want its background color to be red. I think the white color is gonna be a good color on a red button. Okay, let's set its background to previously used color that is E72929. I want its border to be none, so I don't want it to have any border. Font size should be a little bit bigger than normal 1.2 RAM. Its padding should be 1 RAM from everywhere and border radius be 10 RAM from everywhere. Now let's see how it looks. As you can see, it seems to be perfectly fine. 
But there's a problem. The border is not the only problem of this button. If we press tab, we can see that the outline doesn't have that radius of this button and it makes it a little bit unpleasant to watch. The best thing that we can do in this case is removing that outline. Let's do it. Let's set the outline to none. Let's check it once again. Press tab, 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 tab. As you can see, we can't see that outline anymore. I think it's not a bad thing to have that outline. In fact, it's a good thing because you have an extra functionality that work with the website with your keyboard. But I think nobody gonna work with that. And I think it's not a big thing to compromise. So let's keep it like this. But what about hover effect? Let's say details button and hover let's change its opacity to 0.9 so we can get that vibe of interaction and let's change the cursor to pointer let's check it out so it's finished and the food page is ready let's check out the other foods yes and yes it's really great in my opinion, maybe it's mine, I like it. Leave your opinions about this project in the comment section below. Okay, this was for this session. In the next episode, we want to work on the cart page. So when you click on this cart button, you're gonna go to the cart page. And, and when you click on the add to cart button, this food gonna be add to the carts. And also you can get back and add other items to the cart page and have a fully fledged front end. So if you like to follow the series, please consider subscribing, hit that bell button if you don't want to miss the future videos. You've been watching Kodbin Nasir and I hope to see you next time.